Welcome to the GridGain University Microlearning Unit, Understanding Distributed Data in Apache Ignite. In the next several minutes, you'll gain an understanding of what distributed data means, why it's important, and how Apache Ignite implements it. On the surface, a data cache or database is a centralized place providing access to and operations on collected data. Distributed and centralized are opposite terms conceptually. So, why distribute data that we've taken the trouble to collect and centralize? In practice, there are three types of challenges that can be addressed by distributing data. Simply put, they are hardware capacity, hardware reliability, and performance issues. Hardware has finite storage space, so a database or cache might actually run out. It's more efficient to scale your data horizontally than it is to scale it vertically. Upgrade replacement costs generally go up much more than upgraded capacity. CPU prices are a good example of this. Generally, super-fast CPUs would cost several times as much as two slightly slower CPUs. Memory capacity prices work in a similar way. Usually, it's better to add more similar hardware than it is to replace the existing hardware with something much more expensive. What about hardware reliability? Nothing is perfect, and any hardware will eventually fail, which will cause our data cache or database to fail. If we add some redundancy, we can tolerate faults. One redundant copy of data is likely to remain accessible, even while another one has failed. Concerning performance, server hardware typically supports hundreds of concurrent queries or tasks but we may need to provide for thousands or even hundreds of thousands. In addition to user workload, transactional overhead can increase exponentially with workload. Adding processing capacity scales better if the working data for users' requests is distributed with processor capacity. Clearly, data distribution is important when designing scalable data architectures. There are two different data distribution techniques that we should learn about. First, replication. Adding replica partitions means additional nodes which have additional copies of the same data. Although this does not increase data capacity, notice our footprint demand increases each time we add another node, having multiple copies does improve reliability. Any redundant replicas will be available despite any single other replica's failure. An increased number of users can access the same data via multiple replicas, so performance is better, though modifications by any single user may sometimes prevent other users from immediately accessing changed data through locking semantics. Another way to distribute data is partitioning, sometimes called sharding. Instead of always looking in one place, with sharding, we might find our data in two or more places, or shards. Adding another node to store data increases capacity. A failure which causes a missing shard will result in data being unavailable, so partitioning will not improve reliability. Apache Ignite's tables are partitioned with a configurable number of replicas or backups. In this way, it can scale elastically as well as support workloads that benefit from a high degree of redundancy and also those where horizontal scalability is more important. To find sharded data, we need either a defined scheme so that we can use an algorithm to tell us which shard to look in, or a coordinator to route any request to a particular shard. Using a coordinator introduces additional overhead. It also risks becoming a bottleneck for data access and might become a single point of failure. A coordinator which maintains explicit mappings needs its own additional database. This does not scale well to billions of records. Using a sharding scheme instead of explicit mapping provides much faster access to data, but has some considerations. If we choose the sharding strategy poorly, we might end up with skewed data unevenly distributed between shards. Adding capacity in this situation will not always have the desired benefit. Imagine, say, sharding data based on date. All data from a busy day 
would end up in the same shard, a light day in another, that's unlikely to be a good strategy for well-balanced data. Apache Ignite improves on traditional sharding by using one key to statically map data to partitions and using another key to dynamically map partitions or shards to nodes. This means that Ignite will always know transparently where to find data. It implements these mappings using the rendezvous or highest random weight hashing algorithm as a sharding scheme which means that data and nodes tend towards being evenly distributed as the cluster size and quantity of data increases. This also means, together with dynamic mapping of partitions to nodes, that if nodes are added or removed from the cluster, rebalancing of data can occur with minimum disruption and communication between nodes. Apache Ignite manages data distribution by partitioning and replication providing elastic capacity and configurable redundancy for fault tolerance and reliability. This makes it highly scalable, very reliable, and highly performant.